Let's talk about adding monomials, adding binomials and monomials. Obviously, if it's binomial, that means it's two. And, um, and then monomial one. So let's add a two-term expression to a one-term expression. And the same concept will be applied to adding and also subtracting because they're one and the same, just subtraction, just adding in the opposite direction. So we'll just walk through it with the problems here. So again, you can only add like terms. So notice here that negative 5u to the fifth and that 7u to the fifth are like terms. Negative 5 plus 7 is a 2. And we keep the common expression. We're not multiplying. We are adding. So it's a little bit different, right? And then plus 5. So I combine the like terms, the negative 5u to the fifth plus the 7 usually the fifth, just drop the parentheses. And so when you add negative 5 plus 7, remember you add two numbers of different signs, subtract, you get 2. The larger number, the larger absolute value, each sign goes to the answer. 7 is positive, so 7 is bigger, so it's positive 2. You keep the common verbal expression, u to the fifth, and then plus 5. 5 is out there by itself. You leave them be. Same idea here, 6a to the 8th plus at 7a to the 8th. They're like terms, so I'm going to add 6 and 7. We get 13. This is a to the 8th power. Oops. Boy, I tell you, don't like that. Hit one wrong button, and everything just goes bonkers the right arrow key, good, plus three. Okay, let's see. So u to the third, u to the third are like terms, negative three minus seven. I'm adding two negatives, negative three plus negative seven, three plus seven is 10. They're both negative, so the answer is negative 10. u times u to the third, Minus 4. Minus 4 is sitting out there by itself. Leave them be. That 9m to the 6 and that 3m to the 6 are like terms. So they're both positive. So we add 9 plus 3 is 12 times m to the 6. And then there's a a negative 9n by itself it has nothing uh, to be added to or subtracted to, so we just bring him down, negative 9n. You can't combine these terms because m and n are unlike. Unlike terms, you just leave them be. Don't try to force anything. We just let the math do itself. So the, the g to the thirds are like terms. This is 3 minus 4. 3 minus 4. 4 is negative 1, right? So it's a negative 1. You can write negative 1 if you want to times g to the third. And then is that minus 3 h sitting out there by itself? So just bring him down. Minus, uh oh, again, I made a boo boo. Minus 3 h. And you can leave that as, as negative 1 g to the third or just negative g to the third. Uh, but you got to have the negative, you got to have the g to the third. You don't have to have the one there. That one said to be understood. I normally don't put the one there, but I just did that so you can see. Three minus four is negative one. Okay. These problems all have the same forms. We're just kind of doing the same old thing over and over again. Well, that kind of drives me crazy, but okay, anyway, I'm special. So this 8g to the fifth and this 8g to the fifth are like terms. So we add the uh, coefficients, 8 plus 8 is 16, times the common verbal expression, times g to the fifth. And then we have a plus 3h by itself. It has no other like terms to be combined with, so we just bring him down plus 3 times h. Move to this one. 
Oh, that's good. Classic one. Negative 9a plus 9a. You have opposite terms equals a zero, right? Negative 9a plus 9a is zero. But don't forget you have a negative 7b there, right? So the set negative 7b doesn't cancel out. The, the negative 9 plus the 9 is 0, but you have a negative 7b. Bring the negative 7b down, right? Talk to me. <laughs> oh. I said I'm wrong. No, I'm right. Talk to me, right? Yeah. Well, my answer is right. Plato's wrong. Well, that's weird. Yeah. Negative 9a plus 9a is 0. All you have left is a negative 7b. Oh, they got that one wrong. Okay, let's see what this one is. Hey, well, that's the same thing. Negative 5, well, no, this is different. So the previous one, it was opposite signs. These are the same sign. Negative 5, try to get us. Negative 5, P to the 8th. Negative 5, P to the 8th. They have the same signs. I add negative 5 plus negative 5 is negative 10. And this is times P to the 8th. Well, I don't like that, that the computer is wrong, but I've been wrong too as a, as a teacher programming things. I think you've experienced that, so you can't argue with that plus 3q. The 3q is by itself. There's nothing to be combined with. Right. So let's see. The negative 3p to the 8th and the 6p to the 8th are like terms. So it's negative 3 plus 6 is 3, right? Negative 3 and 6, they have different signs. Subtract. We get 3. You take the number with the largest absolute value, the biggest number, you take its sign and put to the answer, plus positive 3, right? Times P raised to the 8th power. And then we bring down the negative 8Q. Negative 8Q. Come to this one. Let's find the G to the fifths. They're like terms, so 8 minus 9 is negative 1. I'm just going to leave the, just the negative here, right? Negative g raised to the fifth. And then we bring down this term by itself, negative 5h. <laughs> negative 5h. I'm still laughing at myself, you know, um, when I worked that problem. Even though I got it right, the computer's wrong. That's, that's every student's answer, right? I'm right, the computer's wrong. But really, no, no, I'm, I was right and Plato was wrong. And I was kind of kind of boasting about, you know, do you get it, you know? And then I hit done and it said incorrect. Boy, I, that'll just make you just drop down to the ground and say, Lord, I don't forgive me for being boastful, right? That's the sermon there. It's a good word. All right. So, Said I got nine out of ten. I really got. Oh, it's not gonna put that problem there. They change them when you go back. Boy, I hate that. Where was that guy? They should have the same form in there, I think. No, I don't see it. So they change it. The time you go back, it's different problems. Yeah, they were wrong on that one. They don't have it anymore. But anyway, you just know I did get it right, but the computer, okay, is, is bonkers. Thank you. <laughs>